Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Spagiver's Garage. Appreciate you guys coming back, checking the channel out once again. If you haven't done so before, I would really appreciate if you go down and hit that subscribe button. I've got lots of car content. I've started making the channel with this, this car, the Supra, but I'm gonna continue to evolve and continue to grow. Uh, we're gonna keep doing mods to this. We may do some mods on some other vehicles. And so I'm just gonna keep posting that stuff up. And talking about accessories, and things that don't necessarily just relate to the Supra, but could be used throughout any cars that you guys own or have. So today what we're gonna be talking about is this little vice right here, the Draggy. And so uh, this is a piece of gear that you install an app on your phone, you pay for the app, you buy this, it's about 150 bucks, and you're able to go out and do road testing using GPS accuracy, and really uh, get get very, very close to drag trap results using a little device like this and not having to go out and find a drag strip, but being able to do those tests anywhere you need to. If you wanted to do zero to 60 poles, if you wanted to do eighth mile, quarter mile, half mile, mile, uh, there are set speed limit traps in there. So there's like the 60 to 130 that you can run, the zero to 60. Or if you prefer, you can go in and set up your own custom ones. Uh, I've set up a custom one from 40 to 100, and I've been using that with my tuner to work through uh, details because it gives the range that we need to. 60 to 130 is actually a really good one if you can find a place to do it, at least for the Supra, because that will give you, uh, you'll run out a few of the gears and it really puts you in a good position to get great data. But I had seen a lot of reviews of this, a lot of, uh, a lot of people posting about the Draggy, and I thought it was a, a lot bigger, a lot bulkier than what it is. I mean, you can see this right here. It is extremely small. Not what I would consider big at all. Uh, it has a little LCD light right there, or LED light that turns on when it's active. It's all activated through your phone. So you open up the app, connect to it. It will connect to satellites, and it, then you can see uh, the progression of it getting the satellites acquired and then you can actually just use it. You can hit reset, start wherever you want. If you're doing, you know, if you're rolling when you activate it and then stop, hit reset, now you can do whatever pulls you want and record them. Uh, and it keeps a history of it and it has its own little social networking uh, media stuff with it. So you can actually go and compete against friends, log times, uh, look look where you, where you are, like in your region, in your state, you can look across the country, across the world, and see kind of where you where you stack up. You can do it by car, uh, by manufacturer. It, so it's it's a pretty cool little thing that you can do. Uh, but I wanted to show this today. And so why don't we pull out the app and take a look at how this all works together. Okay, so I take my draggy and I've got that center speaker up there on the dash and it has a metal cover grate on it. And so I set the draggy up there and it sticks to it. It's got magnetics. Uh, it's got magnets on it. It's rubberized on the bottom, so it's not gonna scratch anything up. You can absolutely put it outside on the actual car itself, as long as you're not in a fiberglass or aluminum car, uh, it will stick to sheet metal. And so you can put it outside and do it that way. I actually prefer it right here because then I can just grab it and put it away when I'm done. I don't have to stop, get out of the car, grab it. I don't have to worry about it flying off the car. Um, so for me, I just, I prefer it there and I've gotten a great signal every time I've done it. So you actually go into the app, let me open everything up. So what I've got is I have a car app folder and I will hit the draggy and it comes up and here you'll see, okay, I get a connect. So if I hit connect, it says it's connecting to the draggy, I get the, okay. So now it's going through satellite data. And so this is the part where it's actually acquiring all the data to make sure it knows where you are and can work through that. So we'll give it a few seconds. looks like it's almost done. Okay, so now you can see if we were moving, uh, it would tell us our speed right here in the middle. And it's got the temperature outside, 36 degrees. It's got your DA, so 924 feet. So it's a nice low one right now. Kind of gives you, uh, you know, I'm in the yellow on my battery on there, so I need to charge it. It does come with a charging cable. And so I can hook it up right here in the car, charge it while I'm driving to wherever I'm going. Um, and then you've got a pull down. Here are the different 
numbers that you can do, you can look at. So you've got zero to 60, 60 to zero, one eighth, quarter, half, and one mile. And then in custom mode, you can come in here and you've got your custom, I've got 40 to 100 set up in custom. Um, so you can actually go in here and, and create new ones if you wanted to. And it's actually really, really useful that you can play around with it and set things up, um, which is cool. So in custom mode, if I go in here and I wanted to add one, say I wanted to add 25 to, uh, let's say 120. Or, or let's go 25 to 125, 100 mile pull, put that in there, it'll save it. And so now I've got that. And so I could pull that up and look at runs that I do for that. Uh, so it works out really, really well. So I'm sure like a lot of people, I was, I was concerned. I had the same concern a lot of people do about how accurate this little piece of gear was going to be when linked to the phone. There have been a number of videos I've watched where people were running it while they were at the drag strip and comparing track the uh the actual trap times and they were all extremely extremely close usually within one mile an hour on the et and then the et within like 0 0.05 uh so extremely close so you're talking half of a hundredth off of uh of what the trap times were giving you some of them were dead on but max was was right around there really really close really accurate and gives you a great way to do testing like for me i'm not in a place where my tuner's here and so i'm doing jb4 logs and comparing it with draggy times uh to show to kind of give the full picture of what it is we're doing and we're able to track gains and see where we're moving so you know, I did a, a little bit of a series or a, a, a I did a video uh, that showed the JB4 and the evolution from stock on 93, uh, one of the maps on 93 going to like E40 I was running. And now I'm actually uh, doing some tests running E50 and we're, we're tweaking the, the tunes that I've got in there, the maps to get the most out of it. And so being able to use this along with the logs so they can see exactly what's going on and be able to make make adjustments in real time and see that we're making gains, uh, real measurable gains. It's pretty cool. And it's something that, um, you know, you don't have to go out to a track. You don't have to find a track. You don't have to find somewhere. You should use a, a closed, closed course or go down to Mexico or, or wherever you go to do your testing. But this gives you the opportunity to do that without having to go sit at a, a drag drag strip and uh and do it that way all right guys this is the draggy i've been using it i actually really like it been really impressed with it the accuracy has been great and it's been another tool to help add to uh to really get the tuning that i've been looking for um dialed in a little bit better working with my tuner so Appreciate you guys checking this out. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. Let me know if you've been using the Draggy and how it's been working out for you. Pluses and minuses, things you like and dislike about it. I want to know. All right, guys, we're going to keep this thing going. We're going to do more and more videos. Uh, I believe the next video I want to do is one where we talk about brake boosting, what it does, how you do it, uh, just so we can, we can see what kind of comparisons uh, using it or not using it would would give you in something say like a roll race so come back for that i appreciate you guys checking out i'll see you guys